Life is not always fair, but it is always good. 19-year-old Libby Hankins learned the meaning of this quote at a very young age. Well before she could comprehend the disease taking over her body, perhaps even before her parents knew the definition of cystic fibrosis. Libby was diagnosed when she was two. We had had 18 sick visits to the pediatrician by the time she was two, and we still could not figure out what was the problem. She had a persistent cough, failure to thrive. She was very tiny, could not gain weight no matter what we did. So I took her to our local doctor in Gordo, Dr. John Brandon, and he suggested a sweat test for CF. <coughs> Libby was tested for cystic fibrosis on a Monday morning at Children's Hospital in Birmingham. Her parents received the results Monday night. At that very moment, it was time to get educated. Cystic fibrosis is an inherited chronic disease that produces unnaturally thick mucus in your lung. And if you don't break that mucus up, it can harden in your lung and kill that part of your lung. And that causes lifetime lung damage and that's part of your long that you'll never get by. When she was diagnosed with it, and we learned it was a genetic disease, I, I had several great aunts that said, we're just gonna track it down until we, we find it somewhere down the family tree. And I said, you know, it really doesn't matter where you find it because it's here and we've got to deal with this. Chicken. CF obstructs the pancreas, stopping natural enzymes, which help the body break down and absorb food. Every time Libby eats, she takes three pills to digest her food. That's on top of the other 20 pills she takes every morning and night. I do my two breathing treatments. Actually, I do three. Three breathing treatments, and I do them in the pipe that I hold in my mouth. So while I do that, I can do my makeup. So after that, I put on my vest, and when I do my vest, I dry my hair. I fix my hair and sometimes I get kind of hot because sometimes I end up burning myself, but it saves a lot of time. And then after that, I have three inhalers that I do before I leave. The breathing treatments open her airways and thin the mucus in her lungs, making it easier to cough up. The vest prevents mucus from hardening by shaking her around. Libby also gets antibiotics through a port on her side that has a line running directly to her heart. All these treatments are done two to three times a day. We know there's not a cure, but we know there are treatments. And no matter what happens, you will never, ever have to face it by yourself. And life is not always fair, but it is always, always good.